fifth grade here and we just finished reading Serafina and the Black Cloak and we want to tell you a little bit of some things that we really liked about the book. So I will hand it off to my fifth grade students. This book was really amazing and um, to be honest with you I had to create a bigger imagination that I already had because this book took me on a journey of imagination. <laughs> Thank you for sending this book. It was a really funny book and it's different than most books, so thank you for sending this book. I really like this book. I just pretty much liked it all. And uh, I just want to thank you for writing this book because I, I really enjoyed it. I really like this book because um, there were so many funny moments and sad moments and confusing moments, but at the end, I almost cried because sometimes I cry when there's happy endings. <laughs> it's awkward. And I was just like <laughs> doing the big battle near the end, and. I want you to make a sequel, make a sequel. Thank you for writing this book. I really enjoyed it. I think it's really unique. Thank you for sending us this book. I really like Serafina because she has some of the traits that I have. And she's really cool. And it's really special to me because there is different than other books and it's not like, it, it pulls you in. I really liked the book because like Rebecca said, it has like sad moments, scary moments, funny moments. First of all, thank you for buying this book for us and letting us come and read it. And it changed my life because the whole entire book saying, just because of how you look, because how it said she only had four toes, she didn't just have, she, had different color eyes than everybody. She wore her paws on a t-shirt. Her collarbones were disconnected from her body. And it's saying just because I'm different doesn't mean I can't do great things. That was my fifth grade class from Bluff City Elementary. Thank you for writing this book and thank you for letting us use it in the classroom. Bye. Bye.